So welcome everybody to our first Come Back to Love Symphony of Possibilities. The first of many. This is an incredible modality. It is, I, I, it's so hard to describe it. It's relaxing, it's powerful. It's kind of a mix of many, many things. And if, I think if you read what I wrote recently somewhere, someplace, I wrote that I've been experiencing it for about three years now and uh, taking classes and different things. And then recently did the full weekend class that when you're finished, you're um, invited to share it either in groups or individual sessions. So this is a taster. And basically what I'm gonna do is follow the energy, which I do anyway. Um, but the Symphony of Possibilities is about um, tuning into the energies that we, we have created together as a group and universal energies and allowing them to come through. And um, I'll be kind of like, you might see me moving my arms and my hands, depending on like where, how the energy feels. And I'll say things probably, uh, and I might be quiet, but all you need to do is really just, the best is just to lie down and receive if you can. Um, you also can sit and receive. Uh, but this is a like lie back, close your eyes and receive. However, the first question is, if you could get anything out of this, symphony of possibilities today, what would it be? So give yourself a moment to just acknowledge what that is. Hmm. Acknowledge seems to be a theme for today. So just acknowledge what that is. You might put it in the chat if you want to, because it's really nice to, um, to hear from you. And you don't have to do that. Of course, you can keep it to yourself. And with that... No, ooh. I'm just to... I'm just leaving an appointment, so I wanted to say hi and bye. <laughs> Sorry. I think that is Robin <laughs> talking maybe to us and maybe not to us. Um, hey, Robin. Thanks for being here. All right. Before I begin, I've got Susie saying a new modality that works. Oh, I love that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love your if that's what you want to get out of it, <laughs> or you're just acknowledging <laughs> both. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah, I can share more, and I shared a little bit in an email, but um, I had a huge, huge, huge experience with this over the weekend that was, <sighs> blew my mind, completely blew my mind. Like, so much awareness about a couple of things that <clears throat> I was not aware of. So this is all about, expanding our, your awareness and empowering you to know what you already know because we all have blocks in our awareness. So all of this is about opening up to more awareness for yourself, more consciousness. Alrighty, with that, I'm gonna invite you to just lay back, relax, close your eyes, sit back, lie down, whatever you need to do. You can keep your videos on. We'll come back together at the end. And if you don't have your video on, that's fine. I see Robin's on audio. All righty, hmm. we've got rest, clarity with the relationships, at work, blooming, inviting agreement and money, further inspiration for my book. Ooh, lots of good stuff, yes. Ah, oh, yes, 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 okay. Whoa. <laughs> So I want to say something about energy as we begin, because just as I tuned in and opened up the channel, it's like this huge wave from underneath me just like came through and kind of lifted me up like underneath my feet. And it reminds me to say that you're either going to feel energy or you're not. Uh, some people are more sensitive to feeling energy and they do right away. Maybe you felt something similar. And some people just, you know, feel it in different ways or it just comes to them differently than a kind of tangible. So there's no right, wrong, no good or bad. It's just whatever you feel, you feel.
I'm just going to get quiet for a second. I allow the energy to come to all of us. Now, I invited you to receive, which is one of those words that we say often, but we don't really know what it means exactly. I didn't for sure. Same thing with the word acknowledge. But let's start with receive. So I invite you to relax your body. Take a deep breath and exhale completely. I invite you to lower your walls, lower your barriers, lower the boundaries that you keep up throughout the day because that's what we learned to do. And we had good reason. We had good, good reasons a long time ago to put up some boundaries, <sighs> to block some energies, to protect ourselves. But the thing about growing up and becoming an adult is that those boundaries were necessary when we were young, but they're not necessary anymore. And in fact, they block our, our development, they block our growth, and they block us from what we really want. Deep down in there, what we want is those, are those boundaries and those protectors to, to relax, to give it a rest, and to allow us to experience anything and everything that we want to experience. We want those protectors and those energies to relax so that we actually can have the experience of who we truly are, which is divine love, which is an infinite being with infinite capacity, infinite, infinite capacity, infinite opportunities and possibilities that you have not even begun to think about yet. You can imagine that you know what you know and you don't know yet what you also know. So as you breathe and relax your body even more, allow those walls and barriers relax even more. And as you do that, your energy field expands. You can just allow it to travel all around the globe in all directions. The next piece that's coming through has to do with the word acknowledgement. As you begin to open up to the infinite being that you are, the expansion that you truly be, The fact that you know what you know and you don't know yet what you also do know. All of that or those are a few examples of acknowledging who you truly are. Acknowledging your divine capacity. Acknowledging your infinite capacity. Acknowledging that you're love and that nothing else is true.
And I think what's very common now is that there are people who are able to acknowledge that they are divine beings. Like in some part of them, they're like, yes, I know that. I know that. I know who I am. I know I'm a divine being. I know. I know, I know, I know. It reminds me of teenagers who say, I know. <laughs> because in part of us, we do know. And then what happens in life or in a given day or even just this morning what happens or happened that we forget that we forget we stop acknowledging who we truly are our boundaries go up And we go into protection or we go into story or we go into trying to deal with whatever it is as the human that we think we are. And then you know what happens. We get stuck, we get activated, we get triggered, we have intense feelings. And we start sort of sludging through the muck, sludging through the mud, trying to get to where we're going. It reminds me of one of those dreams where um, you're trying to move forward or you're trying to run and you can't in your dream, or you're trying to dial a telephone number and you just can't get the numbers right. I'm sure some of you or all of you have had dreams like that. I call them anxiety dreams. So frustrating. And that's kind of the story. It's kind of a, an image and a metaphor for when we're trying to, <laughs> trying, <laughs> we're being who we think we are which is a finite being with limited possibilities and trauma and drama and the past is in the present. So what would it take to wake up every morning and remember who you truly are, to take the first breath of the day of, while you're awake, just as you're waking up and tell yourself, I love you and your name, like hands on the heart. I love you, Robin, I love you. And the second breath, I'm grateful, fill in the blank, something you're grateful for. And then the third breath, I remember who I truly am. I remember who I truly am, hand on the heart or hands on the heart. What would the day be like if you start it that way rather than the other way before your eyes are even open, you're reaching for your telephone, checking email, who messaged while you were sleeping? What's on the agenda for today? Where do I need to be? How fast do I need to take my shower? Do I have a minute to meditate? What would it be to set your alarm for just 10 or 15 minutes earlier than usual. And three breaths. I love myself. I'm grateful for. 
I remember who I truly am. I remember who I truly am. You can relax your jaw a little bit. Or a lot. <clears throat> Lower your walls and barriers again. Relax the shoulders, belly, hips. Deep, deep breath. Hmm. The symphony of possibilities energy wants you to know that there truly is a symphony of possibilities. Think about a huge orchestra and all of the unbelievably beautiful sounds, big, small, tiny harmonies, scales, Etc., etc., etc. It's a beautiful, absolutely beautiful, stunning, precious gift to receive the infinite capacity that exists. All right, beautiful friends. I wish you a beautiful day. I'm going to let the energy just keep running. I invite you to hang with it for a little bit longer and then take it with you on your day. And I look forward to seeing many of you soon. And some of you next week and I'm wishing you lots of love and light. Have a beautiful day.